Hello everybody and welcome to our Dark Elves Battle Let's Play. This Let's Play is a direct continuation of yesterday's video, where we left off with Malekith sieging the High Elf settlement of Karn Thel in order to disrupt their ritual. Before we get into the battle, I wanted to show off the amazing landscape of this battlefield and some of the High Elf architecture. The settlement battles feel a lot more alive in Total War Warhammer 2. As you can see, the battlefield is littered with High Elf army camps, farms, houses and roads that lead directly into the settlement itself, which is right at the back of the defenders. As well as that, graphical updates to lighting, reflections and anti-aliasing help really bring the environments to life. In the deployment phase now, here we have the Witch King himself, Malekith, standing smugly eyeing his prize. On his left we have three units of Witch Elves, a fast-paced, lightly armoured, high damage dealing unit. Considering their vulnerability, I've placed two units of Black Guard of Nagarond behind them, the most expensive infantry unit for the Dark Elves. Of course we have our tank of the battlefield, our War Hydra, such a cute little thing. And onwards now to the Bleak Swords, these are low tier infantry, but can hold their own in a fight and soak up missiles at an acceptable rate. Next we have the Black Ark Corsairs, which we recruited from the Black Ark itself. With their Sea Dragon cloaks, they have very high armor, even without a shield. Behind them we have the Shades, a sneaky and vicious unit that are mainly missile focused but decent melee combatants. The Dark Shards with shields are much weaker than the Shades, but will sustain enemy fire much longer, so I have them guarding the Reaper Bolt Thrower. Lastly, we have our canine assassin, whom as many people correctly pointed out in yesterday's video is a male, as there are no female canine assassins in the lore. Alright, now let's get ready for battle. I'll be cutting between cinematic replay footage and regular gameplay to give you guys a close-up look of the units and an idea of the gameplay. For most of the cinematic shots, I'll try to be quiet and let you guys enjoy the atmosphere. And on that note, let's begin. Now a quick reminder is that we have a black arc reinforcing us in this battle which gives us additional bombardment support. So we're going to try and clump up the overwhelming numbers of the high elves to call down that support on them. As well as that, when we kill a certain amount of enemies, we'll get our murderous prowess effect army wide, which will increase our attack and charge by 25% and give smaller increases to leadership and missiles. So the basic plan is to devastate as much as possible early on to buff all of our troops to achieve maximum damage output. I had to pull my Witch Elves back and let the Black Guard take over as they were about to get charged by some anti-infantry cavalry. Just about managed to pull out of that one. The War Hydra is in the thick of the combat now. I'll need to give it some space so it can use its fiery breath ability. Little bit of friendly fire with the reaper throws there, but it's a necessary sacrifice. The enemy moon dragon is targeting my witch elves. Damn, that pretty much wiped out the unit completely. We'll get our shades to focus on the Illyrian Reaver archers which have flanked me. They should be able to take them down pretty easily at this range. Just got my Hydra out of the main combat now, so we'll look to target some of these archers that are peppering me from a distance. Something I forgot to show off are my Dark Riders. I've kept them hidden in the forest to engage some rogue missile units, so we'll send them after them now. Alright, looks like we've got a clump of troops on the left. Let's call down all three types of bombardment. The bombardments range from high splash to high concentrated fire, but I like to just use all three at once.
Nice, that's pushed us over the edge for murderous prowess. This should turn the tables. Okay, looks like the Moon Dragon is just about finished. It's broken and trying to get away. I'm going to switch our bow throws to anti-large and target it to see if we can take it down. Our cavalry has actually gotten a bit bogged down now with those archers and we're constantly being fired on so it's not looking too good for them. Uh, looks like the moon dragon has taken off. Don't think it'll be coming back though. Let's start using some of Malekith's spells. We'll use Chill Wind on this line of archers to scatter them. Interestingly, now you can actually rotate wind spells, so that makes them much more effective. Our cavalry is just freed up now, so we'll take a look for a new target to send them into. I think the battle is starting to turn in our favor. This clump of troops is still pretty big on our left, so let's throw down the Blade Wind Vortex to get them up out of here. Nice, that pretty much took them all out. We just have a few straggler units to deal with now. The Lothar and Seaguard are great in melee too, so we'll need to take them out and their lord if we want to rout their army. We'll get our boat throwers to fire on the archers too. It looks like I forgot to put them on guard mode, so we'll have to redirect their fire. Just surrounded their princess now, so we'll debuff her and hopefully take her down. Also, this is a perfect group to use our War Hydra on again. Their Lord and Eagle are just about to rout. Let's see if we can hit any more units with bombardments. The AI are actually pretty adept at moving away from these spells. I've noticed if they are defending and sitting on a hill or something, toggling a spell on them will get them to move away from it and then back in formation. It's frustrating for us, but it's a cool feature for the AI. Alright, looks like we're done here. Karnthel will be raised to the ground and the Ritual put to bed. Nice, a victory. Let's have one more Hydra Breath just for good measure. Alright, that's it for the video everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos surrounding the Dark Elves this week. Remember to follow us on social media for all of the latest updates, and to subscribe on YouTube for exclusive Total War videos.